someone squirting the champagne on us, mate. Regardless, though, I mean, I bloody love this job. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, what a drive. What an unbelievable drive here in Outback Western Australia. We've made it and I'm bloody excited about this one, guys. We've got a block drain and look at it. So guys, this lovely client, Catherine, she says, look, everything in the house is blocking up and it's bloody, uh, it's been causing them some dramas. They haven't been able to get a plumber. So we're here to save the day, guys, and we'll, we'll send the jet down and we'll just see what's going on here. I mean, you can see in the bathroom back here, you know, the water level is very high and there's all sorts of suspect looking ice in that drain, mate. And whoa, whoa, does this bath smell as well, guys? I mean, you know, it's days like these where I feel like I've won the bloody lottery, mate. The lottery to bloody life, because this is what it's all about, you know. We've got a block drain, we've had a cracker of a drive and we've got absolute ripper clients. So anyway, let's get stuck in, let's jet downstream and see if we can smash this one out the park within moments. You know, let's, let's, let's just get stuck in, guys. Hey, here we go. And boy, oh bloody boy, does she have an aroma to it. Wow, this one, whoa, this one's strong, guys. And I don't know if it's something about the countryside or the fact that they just can't get a bloody plumber out here, but wow, it'll bloody knock the socks off you, mate. So we're just going to send the jet down as far as we can go and hopefully we'll hit the blockage sometime soon, you know? Well, not too soon. We want to enjoy this first. They've never had an issue with tree roots, but that doesn't mean I'm going to rule the tree root issue out. You know, the number of times a client has said to me, no, nah, we don't have tree roots here. You know, we couldn't be. And then it's a bloody tree root issue. And whoa, look at that. Have we got it? Have we got it? Or is she teasing us? I think she's bloody teasing us. It's been a bit difficult getting around this gully, but I reckon we get Mr. Plungy out. You know, friend of the channel all the way from the United Kingdom. Is there a quick plunge? You know, wouldn't this be embarrassing? We clear it up straight away with a bloody plunger, mate. But uh, look at this. Wow. Did I mention there's an aroma to this drain? <laughs> well, oh, well. Whoa. Yeah, mate, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You guys are lucky that you don't bloody have that option to click the smelly vision button yet, you know? But one day, you will. We've got the camera in place now, I've got the headset on and bloody, we are going to absolutely let this jet just rip, mate. So we'll try and get around this gully and then it's bloody smooth sailing and wow, hey, hey, here we go. Now, a big shout out to Catherine, you know, Catherine found us on YouTube and, uh, well, I, I think she's subscribed, she must be, you know, she watches the video saying, Catherine, if you're not subscribed, mate, make sure you smash the subscribe button and, buddy, say g'day in the comments, mate, but, uh, oh, oh, well, bloody hell, I've cleaned the camera up and it's now time for our other friend of the channel, Mr. German Jet, you know, what should we call him? And to our newer subscribers, viewers, you know, watchers, lurkers of the channel, you know. The reason I call this Mr. German Jet is simply because she's from Germany. I mean, any German viewers out there, what should we call her? What's a great German name, you know? A strong German name. All right, well, it's time to fire Hansi up. And I've just gone with Hansi, or Hans, you know. Isn't that a German name? I'm going with it just for today. But correct us with a better one if you got one. So let's go, guys. Now I'm trying to do this with one hand and one, well, with two hands, one on the camera, one on the jet. Let's try to mix it up and give you a little bit better of a viewing experience, guys. And, uh, you know, I do use the GoPro, 
but I just find sometimes that holding the camera up just around eye level, guys, gives you that, you know, that one-on-one -on -one feeling, you know, you with the drain, and anyway, you're seeing what I'm seeing right now, and I'm seeing trouble, and so should bloody you, because this is not going to plan. All right, take two, let's fire her up, and am I a madman for getting the camera close to the drain again? Here we go, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> the camera's already bloody filthy, guys, so you know what? It is what it is, but wow, am I getting us close to the drain as possible. I reckon, oh, look at that, look at that. Well, I've just cleaned the bloody camera off. But look at this sticky beak right here, you know, front row tickets. And his buddy, you wouldn't want to crawl down there because I reckon there'd be a few eight-legged bloody dogs hiding in amongst those webs, mate. But back to the job. And you can see the gully, the levels on this gully, they're still really bloody high. So something is not adding up here. But I just had a little stroll to the left here. And look, we got the septic tank system literally right next door. And there's something just under the... The bloody old, gr old grass, I don't know, dead grass here. The owner said, don't even think about it, don't lift it. Bloody snakes, mate. And they got lots of them around here, being out in the bloody countryside, mate. So I'm not even going to go near it. I'm not a big fan of snakes. But have a look in here, guys. Check it out. I mean, if that's not bacteria inside the septic tank working its bloody treat, well, I don't know what is. I don't know what the first thing that pops into your head is when you see that, but to me, that looked like chicken noodle soup, you know? I don't know if it tastes like it, but it'd be like the texture, you know, noodles, real wiggly noodle soup. But anyway, I'm talking absolute garbage. This is the next point of call. All right, just get this camera set up here, guys, and we're gonna try and unblock this drain from the floor waste here. So get the camera set up nicely, headsets all plugged in. Hopefully audio is A-OK. -okay. And oh wow. Can you imagine, just imagine it, the smell of just rotten drain mixed with toothpaste because obviously the basin's connected to this and oh! <laughs> wow. So trying to get this around the base of the gully, you know, it's a, a little pea trap in the floor there. You gotta be careful because otherwise. This cable will spring back up, but I think we're past the gully now, guys, and we're going downstream. I just thought I'd try and attack this blockage from here, you know, like there's something just not really adding up with this drain at the moment. Something, I don't know if the drains have been incorrectly installed, but guys, wow, the smell, I'm not going to whinge. I'm going to leave it there. I'll let your imagination run wild, you know. Just think of a nice chocolate cake or something nice, guys. We'll just leave it at that, you know. Family-friendly show. All right, I feel like we're, we're hitting something here. See, when the cable starts to give a bit of a resistance, you just don't want to continue on because, mate, she'll bind up and, and this bloody chocolate cake mix will flick in me face. Not really up for that today, guys. We're going to try and avoid getting soaked by a drain today. You know, it could be a first for the channel, but we're going to try. All right, so you can see we're really... We're, the cable's really wanting to bind up. So we're just we're basically hitting, hitting something. We're hitting the blockage. Whether or not it's the same blockage as the one outside, I don't know. But yeah, something is not right. Oh, I can hear at the back, Bruce, Bruce. Why don't you bloody shove the jetta down the drain, you bloody drongo? And mate. You know, I'd bloody love to, but you can imagine the mess, you know, sending 5,000 psi of bloody water pressure downstream of this, mate, and uh, not only we would have cake mix on a couple of tiles here, mate, we'd have cake mix from bloody, you know, arsehole to breakfast, so we're not going to even bloody try that, mate. Well, maybe not, maybe later. Worst case scenario. Now, I am aware that this could be quite repetitive footage, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bloody speed up this next bit and just continue on. It will be sped up for you guys. Guys, bit of housekeeping. 
Just makes it a bit easier if you're clean as you go. And plus, it's not very bloody professional. You know, imagine if this wonderful client walks in on an absolute mess. Just not gonna bloody let it happen. Alright guys, another cleaning break. This is turning out to be quite the marathon, but it's all good guys, you know. This is what we're here for, you know. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the bloody disgusting, mate. And this one is probably up there with the disgusting, and I bloody love it, you know. There's nothing like a blocked drain just giving you grief, giving you an absolute hard time, you know. As we're literally at the stage now where 95% of plumbers would say to the owner, do you know what, it just can't be cleared. We need to dig the drain up. But no, that's not the case, you know. It's persistence. It's persistence with a good attitude, you know. A persistence with a smile on your bloody dial and we'll get it sorted. All right, look at that. Look at that right there. On the end of the spade bin, we've got kitchen grease. I'm gonna try the other head, guys. I mean, look at that. Look at that right there. You know, the owner said that they don't have an issue with the kitchen sink. Although, do you know what? I reckon the kitchen sink has been run in some sort of funny way that it's connected up into the bathroom drain or the gully outside. So there's a bit of an issue. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, the drains have not been run correctly if this is the case. But that's all good guys, we've got another attachment, we'll send this downstream, and we're just simply gonna clear this drain. Easy peasy. All right, 10 to 15 minutes just went by then, and this other head is not going to do the trick, but look at that grease. How's the bloody serenity, guys? And yeah, just like that, one bloody startup of the Jetta and I've wiped the serenity out. Oh, it's just bloody magic though out here, guys. I'm telling you, there's something about the West Australian countryside, you know. Getting out back, it's a must. All right, no messing around now. Let's get this sorted. Gotta try and get it around this bloody pea trap, guys. She's an absolute nightmare. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I feel we've just got around this pea trap. Oh, we have. We bloody have. All right, let's send her down. Let's send her right down to the septic tanks, guys. Yeah, the way this, uh, this gully has been connected to the main drain, mate. It's a tight connection. I don't know what, how they've glued these elbows up in the ground, but the hose is really struggling. The jet's really struggling to pull the hose around the gully. Wow. But anyway, there's not much we can do about that. Just got to try and twist this hose and manipulate it to somewhat so we can get her down. Come on, mate. Getting down there bit by bit, guys, but this one is a real stubborn bugger. You know what? I, I don't think we're around this gully. We're not around the pea trap. We're not. We're bloody not. Come on. Oh. 
Get down there, mate. Come on, play the game. Let's fire her up. Put the foot over there so we don't get bloody soaked. I mean, that's the good news. That's the feel-good story of the day so far. You know, we haven't been soaked. But now I just cannot get my German friend, Hansi, around the gully. Come on, Hansi. Get around there, mate. Do it for the Drain Cleaning Australia family. Do I have to ask you politely? Please, Hansi, please go around this gully, mate, or I'm going to lose the, the bloody plot, mate. Maybe that's all it takes, some manners. Hansi, please, brother. All right, Hansi, you're about to lose the, you're about to lose your job, mate. You know, your job's on the line now. I'm gonna have to pull out another weapon of choice if you can't get around this bloody gully, mate. Hang on a second. Is that how it works, Hansi? You know, I put your job on the line and all of a sudden you've gone, nah, I appreciate my job. I'm bloody gonna do what I'm told. And, and you're down there. I think we got bloody Hansi downstream, mate. Still a little bit stuck, but I feel like hands is around the gully. Well, we're finally getting somewhere now, guys, and if this doesn't clear the blockage, I think we might take the lids off the grease trap. Well, not the grease trap, I've got it. I've got grease traps on the mind. I mean septic tank. But yeah, look, we're, we're going down, guys. It's a bloody miracle. It's a countryside miracle. All right, guys, and in the comments, you know, Am I boring you to death, guys? Is this boring as batshit? Or do you like the, you know, the longer style videos? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to post this because I wasn't sure if it was too long. So I'd really love to just hear from you. You know, let me know in the comments. Are you still watching? Or are you on to the next one? Now, I guess if I don't hear from you and you're not saying you're still watching, it means you have bloody gone. But anyway, let's have a wander over to the septic tanks, guys. And you hear that? Can you bloody hear it? I can hear Hansy going absolutely berserk near the inlet connection just about here. Well, I reckon it's time for a bit of excavation work. And no, 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 not you silly sausage at the back. Of course I'm going to get a shovel out. Well, here we go. Here is the shovel. Another friend of the channel. I'll just set the camera up there and let's have a little bit of a dig and see what we can come up with. Now, down here... This is where we should find, if the plumbers have done this section of the drain correctly, there should be an inspection point. It's part of the plumbing bylaw. There should be an inspection point just before it protrudes into the septic tank. A little bit of a scratch around and you can see there has been no rain here in bloody months. And bingo, bloody jackpot, we found the inspection cap. She's nice and high, not too much of a dig. That was bloody easy guys you know it's easy when you know what you're doing there we go we'll have a little bit of a bloody little bloody peekaboo into the drain bring the camera over here and have a look oh, i really hope the audio turns out for this one guys i recorded one a little while ago and it turned out shit house but look at that there we are Hansy has got right to the end here and uh well, I guess that's bad news. I mean, it's good news that we've got the jet right to the end of the drain here. We'll have a look inside. I'll dangle you by your legs. You know, we'll have a look in there. Can you see, guys? There's an elbow. Have a look right to the end. That's where the curved square is, and it goes, drops down into the septic tank. All right, we'll get the camera out. Something is not right. Well, I'm a bloody silly sausage. I forgot to hit record on that camera, but look, you know, there wasn't much to see. So I'll pull the camera out the drain now, guys, and uh, look, the drain's clear. It's worrying. You know, my initial thoughts were, there's something wrong with this drain, the way it's set up, and yes. All right, my theory on what's going on here, I feel like this gully has been connected way too bloody high, and the water level is higher than the, the bloody drains connecting into this gully. I mean, I feel like that's a kitchen sink line connecting into this as well. So the grease is just gonna bloody block everything up and cause all these dramas. 
All right, so we're going to send the jet upstream of this drain, which connects into the side of the gully. And I feel probably a meter up there is where the bathroom connects into that kitchen sink line. It, it just does not comply. But let's cool our jets for a sec. Let's bloody embrace this beautiful countryside. Now, if you don't like spiders and insects and giant bloody bugs and snakes and all the rest of it, this place is not for you. But if you do, mate, you're in bloody heaven. But anyway, we're not a travel channel. So we'll continue on and we get a jet upstream of this drain. See if we can get this one sorted. Wow. Instantly, guys, look at all this absolute garbage coming out of the pipe. You know, it's years worth of all sorts, and wow, it's an angry drain. Hey, hey, hey. But obviously, because the outlet pipe connecting to this gully is way too high, this gully's always gonna, it's just gonna bloody collect all sorts in this drain, and anything connected into the side of this gully is under the water level. We'll get our Englishman friend, Mr. Plungy. Just continue plunging. As we continue jetting, it's just synchronised bloody magic. I reckon we should have a little sticky beak of what's going on inside the bathroom and, you know, have we hit jackpot? Has this cleared it? Has it done the job? No. That's alright. As I said before, guys, persistence is bloody key. And we're not going anywhere until this is 110%, mate. So let's continue on. I mean, talk about marathons. I might be able to compress this video into, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. But guys, we've been here for about three hours now. It's hot. It's bloody hot. And there's clouds coming over. Apparently, the talk of the town is they're in for some rain. You know, it's been months since they've had rain. So bring the bloody rain on, guys. It'd be nice to get a drop or two before we finish up. You know, just to cool down. It's probably about 42 degrees and just the ideal scenario right now would be a monstrous downpour as we clear the drain, you know? Just like someone squirting the champagne on us, mate. Regardless though, I mean, I bloody love this job. Whoa! <laughs> Shit! So much for the bloody champagne showers, guys. I am soaked! But anyway, Let's continue on. I'm not going to whinge. And look at that. Look at it. You little ripper, mate. She's clear. It's going to send the whippos down just to make sure. But that level in the gully right about there, you know, that seems about spot on. That's, a, that's an absolutely delightful level in the gully. Let's fire up anyway, guys. Let's continue on. Make sure that this is also 110%. Oh boy, oh boy. I refuse to whinge about the aroma, but whoa, look at this, guys. Wow. Look at it, guys. I mean, it's just what bloody dreams are made of. We are getting through it now. You know, this is the home stretch. Oh, get the camera out the way there. <laughs> This bloody camera's taken a beating today. Look at that. Wow. It's going to bloody bang the pressure gun down here just for some good luck. Just make sure she's well and truly clear. Let's connect her up. Bob is your bloody mother's brother, mate. I'll put my foot over the gully this time. I don't want to eat any more today. Try and give you a better view without squirting myself.
right, that is running nicely now, guys. And we'll come out and have a look. Give her a plunge. So you can see the water level in this gully is high. I mean, this is the problem. You know, you turn up here first and you look. What are you doing, you silly sausage? You are going to drown. Let me move you over into the... We'll move you into a safe spot, mister. You know? No good hanging around that drain. There we go. Get out of here. Shoo. I've just... I've just bloody saved your life. Anyway. Alright, we're going to test everything out. Everything is going to run... You know, it's going to drain. It's just going to run slow because of the, the way the gully is set up outside. You can see it's draining. It's just never going to be a million dollars. Some absolute plonker has bloody... You know, and look at that. The gully's high, but it's clear. And there's nothing we can do. Some plonkers, bloody, installed this gully incorrectly. The water level is way too high. See? Look, she's high. But when grease from the kitchen gets in there, mate, it just blocks everything up. So if it all runs down here... See? It's all running. It's clear. That's what's thrown us off today. And what's causing the drama. But, mate, she is crystal clear. You know, I couldn't be any more happy with how this has turned out, apart from the absolute mess that's on me. Look at these baby bloody bull ants, mate. I know they, they pack a punch, you know, and they're just clinging onto me gloves, you know. If I was to bloody pick them up and take them to the bin, the buggers would bite me. So I'll get some, some screwdrivers here and I'll bloody dispose of them in the bin. I'm not going to bloody throw them in the bin in my van because I've made that mistake before, you know. Once I had bull ants on bloody tools, I put them in the van, didn't realise, and the next day, jump into the van to drive to work. And yes, I had one sting me on the bottom. No thanks. Well, let's clean up and get out of here. 